Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, you may be right. I don't know. I, you know, I don't claim to know everything, and maybe I, maybe we aren't the minority. But if we are the majority, we certainly seem to be silent. I mean, there's only a few people talking out. Well, I most agree. People, most people are afraid to say anything about 9/11. You know, they think you're crazy if you do. Well, since you bring that up, uh, you've been attacked by a lot of establishment people, but you've also gotten a lot of support, and the polls show the majority of Americans believe they've been lied to about the story. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously, you, you you told the truth about 9-11. Why did you decide to take that plunge? Well, you know, when I started, and I really didn't take the plunge. I simply asked questions that, that to me, have not been adequately answered. Uh, you know, and I, I consider myself a demolition expert because I spent, you know, four years on active duty in the Navy as a member of the underwater demolition team. I was trained by the best demolition men the United States has. And every time I watch those buildings come down now over and over again and I look at a building that's been demolitioned, they're identical. You know, when you watch them fall, but yet if you bring that up or state that, Right away, you're considered crazy. And uh, how dare you make a statement like that? How dare you be so un-American? How dare you? And it goes on and on and on. I'll tell you what, Alex, you take the line for a minute. I've got to run across to my desk because there's something I want to read on your show. Absolutely. So take your ahead. time. Take your time, Governor. We've got him for the rest of the hour, folks. In the next segment, we're going to take a few of your calls, but they need to be for the governor about the issues we're discussing, 9-11, the war, the economy. Uh, but uh, here comes Governor Ventura back from his desk. Has something he he wants to read for us. Uh, think about it. Willie Nelson, Jesse Ventura, the former German defense minister, high-level members of the Japanese parliament, the former Italian president, coming out and questioning the official story or coming right out and saying it's an inside job. Uh, I mean, you cannot uh, downplay this, but the establishment tries. Governor? Yep. Ah, here we go. I got it here. I finally found it. Had it on the wrong desk. <laughs> um, I want to read this, Alex, and then I want to ask your general audience, and it'll be a good segue to go maybe to callers. But uh, this is a quote by a pretty famous person, and when you hear it, it really, to me, parallels the last eight years of thought process here in the United States where I've been saying that I'm kind of out of the loop now, or it seems that I am. I'll just read it, okay? Here it is. Quote, Naturally, the common people don't want war. But after all, it is the leaders of the country who determine the policy. And it is always a simple matter to drag the people along, whether it is a democracy, or a fascist dictatorship, or a parliament, or a communist dictatorship. Voice or no voice, the people always can be brought to the bidding of the leaders. This is easy. All you have to do is tell them they are being attacked and denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing the country to danger. Now, Alex, do you agree that that seems to be the mental philosophy we've had here since 9-11? Yes, and that's Herman Goering, a head of yeah, the Luftwaffe. You, know, you know your stuff well. That's Herman Goering. A quote from a Nazi. Now, it troubles me greatly when I start looking at philosophy and how our government seems to be operating, and when it starts paralleling Nazis, isn't that about time a flag should fly up for us as citizens? You're right, and, and there's no doubt. I mean, even the... Hitler didn't just attack Poland. He staged an attack on their own military base and later admitted it or firebombed his own Reichstag to get his police state going. And we see last week the uh, Democrats supposedly are so good. No, they, they said, yeah, we're against the Fourth Amendment. What's a repeat for all of us to know? What's the Fourth Amendment again, Alex? That is uh, the 
fact that they have to have a warrant and witnesses to search you or tap your phone. Yeah, and, and, they, and the Democrats voted last week to continue that policy, that they don't have to, that they can invade your privacy and literally disregard the Fourth Amendment. We'll be right back, Governor. And then uh, when he came on my show and just talked about 9-11 being an inside job, you know, I'd met him before that, when he questioned the official story of 9-11. Really, uh, his stock went up to 100% for me, uh, right up there, really even past Ron Paul. Ron Paul uh, has said that he thinks they may stage attacks or may stage Gulf of Tonkins or that they may have let it happen, but he just won't come out and say uh, that it looks like a controlled demolition for political reasons. I really respect Governor Jesse Ventura, and even if he doesn't announce he's running for Senate tonight on Larry King Live, you better believe I'll be watching. Hope you're watching. Uh, he's he's done his duty coming out on the show, questioning 9-11, speaking out against the police state, and everything else he's done. Uh, before we go back uh, to your calls, uh, Governor Ventura, you were, you were speaking about uh, the parallels with Nazi Germany uh, and uh, with what we're seeing in this country today. Please finish your thoughts on that. Well, you know, Alex, it troubles me when, when you, for the last eight years, you can take a quote like I read from Herman Goring and apply it to the United States of America because that's exactly what we've been told. We've been told we were attacked, which all of us saw. And, of course, maybe we were, maybe we weren't. Uh, you know, only they know for sure, I guess. And second of all, this nonsense about, you know, people need to remember what Thomas Jefferson said. He said dissension is the greatest form of patriotism. And in our republic, that is true. But yet, in the last eight years, we've had it pounded into our heads that if you dissent, you're unpatriotic, that if you don't go along to get along, you're unpatriotic. And then they try to hit you with, if you don't support everything we're doing, you're against the troops. Well, that is not true. I'm a veteran. And to me, supporting the troops means not sending them in harm's way unless it's vital or absolutely necessary. And in my opinion, the Iraq war was certainly not vital, and it certainly wasn't necessary. Well, there's also... And I, and I support our troops by bringing them home. Who, you know, to quote John Kerry after Vietnam, who will be the last man to die in Iraq? Well, you're right. We also have this hiding behind the flag, which is particularly despicable. They always say the flag is the last refuge uh, of tyrants. Uh, patriotism is the last... Uh, refuge of tyrants and thugs and, and they're the ones that promised the troops they'd be home in six months and knew they'd be there for a decade in their own Pentagon plans they're the ones uh, that want to just destabilize the region not bring democracy uh, as they say publicly uh, and it's just so despicable to see them continue over and over again uh, to get away with this and, and, and then have the nerve Bill O'Reilly goes on TV it's a talking point on Fox and other places and says once the war starts, you're to shut your mouth, and you don't have any say, when I thought the troops were fighting so that we'd have a say, and then you have 75% or more of all the donations from the troops to Republicans going to Ron Paul, the only anti-war candidate. I mean, the majority of the troops in major polls are against the war, so how dare uh, these chicken hawks uh, claim that, uh, that, that we're not allowed to criticize this illegal war? And, and you know what gets me to, Alex, exactly what you said, these chicken hawks. Because the majority of the great war supporters of this country are the very people who they themselves would never put themselves in the line of danger, would never put a uniform on. And I'm talking about our current commander-in-chief, George W. Bush. He leads the way. Dick Cheney with, what, five deferments during Vietnam. Our own illustrious Norm Coleman, the senator from Minnesota, who was a huge war protester at Hofstra University when he was back in college, when his little hinder was on the line, and when he might have to go to war, he wanted no part of it. But today this guy's rubber-stamped everything with the war, and he's got a kid who's of age to go serve. Do you think his kid's in the military heading to Iraq? Absolutely not. Well, Carl Rove's son lives right here in Austin. And uh, he's of uh, military age, and we don't see him going. Speaking of that, George Bush has a lower approval rating than Nixon. 
Congress has a 9% approval rating in a scientific poll, the lowest since polling began a century ago. I mean, this government is completely illegitimate. More the reason we need you there in the Senate as the Speaker so the world knows uh, that, that, that the people aren't for this war. I mean, if we don't punish the Democratic and Republican leaders that took us into this illegal war, then it really does uh, hang around our neck. We really are guilty of these war crimes. But if we punish them, uh, then we get some of our name and good faith back. What would you, I mean, are you for impeachment of Bush? Carl Rove, I don't know if you know this, fled the U.S. last week. There was a congressional subpoena. He's been indicted now. Uh, he's fled the U.S. Uh, I mean, your take on them being indicted or uh, an impeachment? Well, I'll put it to you this way, Alex. I get very concerned and, it, and, and, I, and I get very confused in my country today when cheating on your wife is an impeachable offense, but going to an illegal war and killing thousands of people isn't.